for WDOR forecast going for cloudy skies today. Some flurries arriving this afternoon with highs in the middle teens. Winds out of the northwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance for flurries this evening, then there's some light snow after midnight. That chance of snow at 40%. Lows tonight, 5 to 10 above, with north winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Winds will increase after midnight, with wind chill readings at 15 below during the overnight hours tomorrow night. Well, Stewart Court is backing down the bay. You know, she was supposed to come in last night. In fact, I went down to the Coast Guard station last night to watch her come in. She decided to go up and around. Deked out everybody. So she went around last night, set up off of Idlewild Point until this morning, and about an hour or two before dawn, the Jimmy L came out and started breaking up ice. The Joyce Van in Kevert is also in. That just came in uh, ahead of the, the court. So i got to get my camera gear set up. I'm going to try to put the drone up. We'll see how it goes. Launched in 1971, the Stewart Court was the first thousand-foot bulk carrier to enter the Great Lakes trades. Built by Bethlehem Steel Corporation, her unusual design, with her bow accommodations and wheelhouse forward, and her engine room section aft, were uniquely constructed as one hull at Ingalls Shipbuilding in Pascagoula, Mississippi. She was nicknamed Stubby at only 182 feet long and 75 feet wide. This was necessary to be able to sail her through the St. Lawrence Seaway in the Welland Canal into the Great Lakes. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah. Todd, tell Paul oh, Tofter, oh. hi. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Hello. Yeah. That's fine to be here. Small crew coming in. A little excitement. Plays havoc, this, you know, zero degree weather with batteries, especially on my drone, I was having issues. I had my drone all the way out over the court and the screen on my phone went black. It just, the phone shut off. Done. So I hit return to home. Thank God it came back. Once there at Erie Marine in Erie, Pennsylvania, where her midsection was constructed, the odd-looking ship was placed in dry dock and cut in half, literally, along a jagged dotted line painted on her hull marked, Cut Here. So, I'm going to get the shot here. You got it, my I'll friend. catch up with you later. Thank you. The 818-foot-long, 105-foot-wide mid-body, consisting of four cargo holds and ballast tanks, was welded into place to their respective ends of the fore and aft sections. Stuart Court may not be the most handsome lady on the lakes, but she's been a real workhorse 
Sailing under the colors of the Interstate Steamship Company since 2011, running up to 58,000 tons of taconite per load from Duluth, Minnesota to Burns Harbor, Indiana. <laughs>